Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'alo, Kohlo Yimlaya, how about Shimia Washai, Bahashim, Rakhahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that is edifying by the Spirit. And um, I just wanted to do this quick lesson on this article with the Winans uh, Church that's been they've been building over 20 years, right? Here in Detroit. It says um, Detroit puts pressure on Winans to finally finish 20 year perfect perfecting church construction. Yeah, this trip, this shit been sitting there for like twenty years, man. Since like um the beginning of uh, of America going into Afghanistan, man, and it's still sitting there in limbo. And so now, the city they've been trying to do something about it for a long time, anyway. You know, handing out a lot of violations, and they're not keeping things up to code. But this is your Christian church, man. Why why aren't they complying with the laws of the land? You see, why aren't they? You know. But this is a, another example of the Christian church falling. Um, that 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 pandemic killed the, a lot of these churches. And Christianity, white Jesus Christianity is through, man. It is through. <laughs> for real. If you are believing in white Jesus in 2023, and that goes for even you so-called white people. If you believe that the Lord is some white God named Jesus in 2023, then, then shame on you. <laughs> but let's get a little bit of it It's not that long of an article um, It says the perfecting church on Woodward Avenue Near Seven Mile Road Is on its way to becoming Detroit's version Of the Spain's unfinished 140 year Sagrado Familia First announced in 2003 By Pastor Marvin Winans Of the famous fam The famous family of gospel singers The Winans Construction of the 60 million dollar project Has stalled for years and now face renewed pressure to move forward. That's according to a letter from the city sent Friday. Hey, you know, hey, shit, uh, the city might give them some of that money, hey, but you know what? This is why I'm not so, yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You have to pay taxes, but you're, you're, we have to repent to the father, how about Shimei Awashai, for things that are not necessarily our fault, because the so-called white man, he takes our he takes our hard earned tax money, which we don't agree to him even taking to begin with. He basically steals it and gives it to, you know, projects like this. So I'm I wouldn't be surprised if they wouldn't give them, um, you know, some some of the taxpayers money to do something with it because it isn't damn eyesore. It's an eyesore, man. Big, stupid ass building sitting there still. I mean, I, I think they only really worked on it for just a little while. Right? I mean, it, it's no inside or nothing. It's just a big brick structure, man, with nothing in it. You know, they they might as well let the city take that shit and 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 you know make some damn some homeless shelters out of it or something, man. Okay, it says according to the letter, the city of Detroit's cooperation council, Conrad Mallet, demands details on the current status of the project, including inspection reports and financial records. Okay, um, it says reports that there have been no building permits issued for the project for the past five years. So they, they just say they, they didn't, it's just an eyesore. It says in the city has issued multiple outstanding violations. The original version, the original vision for the 15 acre site included 165,000 church. I'm assuming shit. Damn, I, I, I can't imagine you it is a big ass building maybe you can't hold that many people um 11 000 car parking deck um and 70 condos but the development has been in the state of limbo for many years earning the nicknames like tyvek temple the project was originally supposed to take only three years to complete we have reached a point where continued forgiveness of inaction is simply irresponsible mallet told the, um this news source so, you know, it is what it is. Then you go into the comments, and it's all Jake right here. You know, these pretty much Jake's right here. You know what I'm saying in these comments? Because it's in Jake neighborhood. It's right on 7 Mile and Woodward. You know what I'm saying? Just before your, your famous 8 Mile, you know? It says, who need a church that big? I was just saying, 
like when they gonna finish building that church that church is over big all that room and people still gonna be homeless that church so big they can have four shelters in there yeah they can i think he wants a mega style church like creflo dollars in georgia why does it take 20 years two years maybe that's ridiculous did they run out of money city shouldn't have let it go on that long and i can remember reading um you know articles. because they've been you know it's been articles about this place for years because it's going on i mean it's 20 years this person says i'm glad the city is doing something the whining's family backstabbed and cutthroat their way into getting that land now it's a mess hey it's been it's multiple stories out here i'm not sure what's true or what's what's not true it says this person said they started when my children were in, in were in high school. My baby <laughs> been seven years. Uh, I think guess they got a I guess they this person's child got a seven year old now. It's taking too long. They must have run out of money. Uh, that and COVID plus I am a membership has declined. The project was ambitious to say the least. The city started poking them February 2022 and almost a year later, not my, my not much done. Perhaps they need to use what has been completed and sell or rent where they are. It says the city is a joke. They let Manny Maroon let the old train station sit for years. People died in that building and nothing was done with it until Ford bought it. Yeah. The church hustle has been around longer than the pimp game. Y'all still not hip? <laughs> hey, man. Anyway, you get what it is, you know. But let's just go into a scripture or two. Because they're not complying. They're not even answering calls. They're not even answering. They're just violation after violation after violation. Fines, not paying them shits and all kinds of stuff, man. But this, this place is through, man. Christianity is through. White Jesus Christianity is through. I'm surprised he didn't get any of those PPP loans. Because I think they may have another, um, you know, you know, they have a, uh, I can't think where the other church is at. Anyway, it is what it is. Well, let's go into Romans 13, chapter 1, um, no, uh, Romans 13 and 1, Salakia. Because they should be complying. It says, be, um, the title on this is, be subject to the government. Verse one, it says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resisteth the ordinance of Yahweh. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So if these were real Christians, they will be complying. Like, hey, look, man, we ran out of money. There's nothing we can do. Whatever the case may be, you know, it's nothing we can do. I mean, what are your suggestions? The city uh, going to do what they're going to do just like they do with any any other, um, you know, um, project like that. Or if a person doesn't pay his taxes or whatever, it goes to the city and the city chops it up and do what they want to do with it. But in the meanwhile, like I said, it is a complete eyesore. If you, you know, I'm sure the people that live here, they know where it's at. That shit look crazy. <laughs> it look crazy. It's right. It, it looks crazy, man. And it's a lot of development, kind of like in that area. As a matter of fact, that's a um, that's not a you know, not a bad area because it's golf course. It, it used to be like where a lot of um, Aretha Franklin had a home over there back in the days. Um, some of the Piston basketball players, um, Joe Dumars, I think um, Isaiah Thomas or whoever, used to live in you know around that neighborhood because they got some really big ass houses. It's in the hood, but they got some real big nice ass houses over there. But it's an eyesore, man. It's an eyesore. They need to, you know, um, comply and, and go ahead and say, hey, you know, there's nothing we can do, man. Our hands are tied. You know, um, why are they continuing on collecting all these these violations and nothing is being done about it? They're just sitting there. They just keep on coming through, tacking up, posting up, stapling a damn note to that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's violations all over the place. You, I mean, you haven't even... They haven't even, um, you know, applied for any type of licenses in the past five years. So that in itself ought to say that hey, it's, it's a done deal. They was through before pandemic. It was through before the pandemic. But, you know, I just wanted to just touch on this to just show the Christian church is through, man. And, and they're not complying 
with the laws of the land, man. As far as this particular church. But now when it comes to them getting that, that 501c3 charter, hey, they quick to run through and um and get all that in order. They quick to collect on Jake when it comes to that. Here you go, you've been collecting all these tithes and offerings or whatever, building funds and all that other shit because they, they collected a lot of money before they even got going on this because they had another church, Salakia. Matter of fact, let's see if we can... um. Let's see here. Let's go in here and see if we can. Um, yeah, this shit is crazy. And you can see, you can kind of see how big it is just from this corner. But man, that's a huge spot. Perfecting church. Let's see here. Let's go into uh, Salakia. Bear with me here. Let's go into the duck, duck, go. Break up a tab here. It may come up, may not. Uh, I should have probably put Detroit. Yep, they do have another one. They got another church. Um, here's their hours. It's on um on Nevada in Detroit. Um, let's go into it. Let's see, because they I think that you know they're supposedly have been moving from. But see, they, hey, they, there you go. Give online. They want you to give online. Join Perfecting Church. They got the service times. Uh, ministry means people. Latest sermons. We pray your faith goes to the next level. Well, where's your faith that you're going to get this damn church done? And, um, you know, it's been up, been going on for the, the past 20 years. You see? Okay, well, they say they do not lose heart. Well, there's some shit from 2020 there. Let me see, though. Are they actually still in play? They got to be still in play, though. They got to be still in play. They ain't let that other church go, but, you know, I want to see. Let me see. Um, Pastor Marvin Wyans. Let's see if this guy... Let's see if he got a net worth at all. Because, you know, hey, they, they made a lot of money off them gospel songs. Them, um, you know, him and the, the family or whatever. They made a lot of uh, money. And still, I'm sure they're still getting that gospel money. But but the thing of it is, is they're not. It's just like any other pastor. They just don't care. They don't care about the flock, man. They just like, hey, you know what? We're going to get this money and, 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 and keep it moving, man. Yep, here we go right here. Let's see what his net worth is. He might be worth. Oh no, he's okay. He's worth five million from the, from this twenty twenty three hookup. See, earned through his successful pastoral career. It says according to authoritative sources, it has been estimated that Marvin Wyan's net worth is as high as five million dollars. Earned through his successful pastoral career, Marvin also founded the Perfecting Church in Detroit, Michigan, and serves as the church pastor until present day. See, so it's still popping. You see, so this is just another Jake, just getting over on the people and not, you know, coming through, man. It's no different than you know what I'm saying. Than any of these other pastors I don't think he You know he's one of those Private jet kind of pastors But you know what I'm saying Like I said Them whiners I mean hey They made some money man BB and CC And <laughs> Hey they made some bread man CC and them Probably worked a little bit more But you know hey It is what it is You see what it is man Here you go You got a damn church That's been sitting here 60 million this is, this is what they was expecting To get out of people 60 million dollars man now, how much money they actually got, because they did get money for this project and they put a lot of money into it, but it just didn't fall through. Because like I said, because you can see the picture right here. Let me see here if you can go into it. I can't even zoom in. If you see this billboard of what it's supposed to look like or what they were expecting for it to look like, right? Hey, that shit is sprawling, man. It's like um they got Word of Faith Christian Center here that they bought an old ass monastery 
um, a, 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 a monastery school. And that shit is enormous, man. Enormous. They got a school on that boy. They got um, um, daycare on that boy. I'm talking about. He's got private jets. They got places all down. All, all these pastors have a, you know, a, a, a church in all different places. You know what I'm saying? Where they'll fly and go to do three or four sermons a Sunday, man, and, and pull in millions, man. But anyway, just wanted to just touch on this, man. You know, um, the, the Christian church is out of here. Call hello, Yahweh, by Shimmy, I was side by Shimmer Cock with Dodge. Hey, the water to Yahweh for bringing us out of these places. And, you know, like I said again, hey, these people don't care nothing about the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimmy, I was shy. So you know they're not going to care about um, the simple state laws or city ordinances and things of that nature. It's clear that they don't. Here you go, you're the pastor. You should be, you know, there's no way that the, that you don't have no contact with the city and they keep on giving you all these fucking violations. So that lets you know the get down, man. These, these pastors are grimy as hell. A bunch of damn greedy dogs. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. And you Jake, man, y'all so-called blacks, y'all, y'all suck it all up. Especially and, and to go along with you, um, you you Hispanics, Native Americans, man. Y'all love to have it so <laughs> just wicked as hell. It is that uh Isaiah 56. Verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. See? They're greedy. They're not warning the flock. They're not telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the Hebrew Israelites. They're not telling you about that karagma that these so-called white people want to put into your ass and, and, and locate you at every damn step you make. Wanting to put a damn computer in your ass. They're not warning you about the Revelation 13, 16, man. They're not warning you about we're living in the end days, the last days. World War Three is on the brink. The, they're not warning the people about their, their last prophecies that's coming up, coming along in the last days. So they're greedy dogs. They're just laying around, loving to slumber. Can you imagine having a dog? Somebody is breaking into the house and this motherfucker is sitting there. The robber throw him a little treat, rub him on his belly. He turn over and he's all, you know, he wants to be rubbed on his belly and stuff. That's pretty much these pastors, man. Verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his for his gain from his quarter. So now if this man is worth five million dollars. You don't think that he will put up four million of that shit at least. He should be able to put it all up if he has so much faith in, in, in the Lord. He should be able to be like, you know what? Look, I got five million towards this such and such. Or, you know, you know, he got to live. So, of course, you know, he's not going to give up the whole five million. But damn, he won't even you think that he would give up a million of those dollars and say, hey, you know what? Let's get this project back popping. You know, let's 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 pray to the Lord. Let's fast, whatever. No, man. That shit is going to be sitting there for another 20 years. Well, we, no, well, we pray that, you know, Yahweh, <laughs> Bashem Yahweh Shah will hasten the day, man, because we, we're not trying to be here another 20 years, so Salaki for that. But if it was up to them, he's not going to move on that project, man. Now, the city, like I said again, and, and, and you know, it, it would be probably a lot of complaints if, if the city were to give up taxpayers' money to um, help this shit along. You know what I'm saying? Because people are not going to church like that no more, man. Even if they was to, to finish constructing this place, they wouldn't get the um the finances that they need to continue on, um you know, tithe-wise, you know, because it, there's no congregants. People are not going to church no more. <laughs> so they it, it, it's really, they might as well just go ahead and bust that on down, man, and let, let the city, state, or whatever, whoever the hell do something with that, man. Sell it to somebody else, man. Because like I said, around that area, when you go on down um, towards 8 Mile, towards eight, 8 Mile, they got a whole strip of um, 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 shit. You know what I'm saying? As far as like um, shopping centers, new stuff. And that would just go right along with, you know, because it's, you know, like near where the state fair was at and all that good stuff like that. I think they were renovating. I haven't been in that area in a while, but, you know, 
But I know that church sitting right there on that damn corner is a damn eyesore. For real. So it is what it is. And, and, and probably, you know, Jake probably the winning that bitch and I stole all the metal. He probably done stole all the copper, the piping, you know, and sold it to the scrapyard. Ain't no telling, man. Because I don't even think they be having even security around that boy. You know, somebody sitting there with a little... You know, little, little somebody in their own personal car with the flashers on, making a couple of dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? To sit there and, and, and act as if they're protecting that shit. But anyway, just wanted to touch on that, man. These greedy dogs, you, you, hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. And we're living in the last days. These pastors not going to let you know none of that. Why? Because they just want to just continue on living their life. They just want to continue on just living it up. Because I bet you he's living lovely. He's living. I'm sure he don't live in the city. He don't live in Detroit. I'm willing to bet you that. I'm, I'm pretty certain of that. If he lives in Detroit, I'd be surprised. A lot of these pastors don't. They don't live in the, um, in the, in, in the inner city of where they had a church at. They'll come and preach to you. But they live where, you know, the so-called white people live and live in um, luxurious off the backs of the Israelites, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep, man, and kick these pastors to the curb, man. Kick their asses to the curb. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They ain't doing them, but 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 drawing the flock to hell, you know, roughly, you know, drawing them straight into destruction, man. That's all that these pastors are doing. And a lot of Jake is starting to wake up, but hey, a lot of Jake going, you know, going to continue in his path, man, and get led straight to the slaughter, man. They're going to skin your damn coat off you, that sheep coat off you, and sell that. And then they're going to lead your ass straight to the slaughter. They're going to get everything that they can out of you. But with that, I predict the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.